once you've added documents to your Mendeley library or references to your Mendeley library, you can reference those documents in a Word document. So in this video, I'll show you how to add a reference to the end of a sentence. I'll show you how to add a reference as part of a sentence. I'll show you how to add a page number to your reference and then also how to add multiple references in one bracket. Okay, so we'll start with the normal reference at the end of a sentence. Important to remember here is that Mendeley and Word are computers, they are not human beings, so you need to tell them what to do. So you know that when you normally add a reference, you will add a space between the last sentence or the last word in your sentence and the period of your sentence, and then you will add your reference. So you need to do the same thing with Mendeley. When you add your reference, you need to leave a space between the last word of your sentence and the actual reference that you are going to insert. So I'm going to insert my first reference for the sentence. I'm going to click the insert citation button. Again, if you don't know how to get here, you just go to the references tab. Then you'll see these buttons that have the Mendeley logo on. If you don't have these, then you need to go back to your Mendeley desktop app and check that you've installed it using the tools drop down menu. So I'm going to click insert citation and then you can type either the title of your document or the name of the author. If that's your author, you can click OK and Mendeley will then insert the citation. OK, I'm going to insert another citation. Okay, so now you know how to insert a reference at the end of a sentence. If you want to insert your reference as part of a sentence, in other words, you want to say according to so and so, then you would need to hide the name of the author in the bracket. I'll show you how to do this. What a lot of people do when they want to have the name of the author outside the bracket is that they actually edit the Mendeley reference. This is never a good idea. I'm going to demonstrate. When you carry on working, Mendeley is going to give you an error warning you that you've manually edited a reference. And it's going to ask you whether you want to keep that manual edit. If you say yes, it means that if you change a detail of the document in your desktop app, then this particular manually edited reference will not update. So let's say that you realize you got the date wrong, it's not a 2012 reference, it's actually a 2013 reference, then Mendeley won't update the manually edited references and that sort of completely defeats the purpose of using Mendeley in the first place because you want to automate this process as much as possible. So I'm going to show you the error that Mendeley is going to give me. When you see this error, which is essentially Mendeley telling you that you've manually edited this reference, do you want to keep it? You say no, undo the manual edit. And here Microsoft Word has given me another reference. It's basically just telling me that I'm taking too long to make a decision with Mendeley. So I'm just going to click retry. That happens often. But you'll see here that Mendeley has now reverted to what the reference originally looked like. What you want to do here, and I do this often to make sure that I don't misspell the names of the authors, is that you can simply copy the name of the author and then paste it outside the reference. You can then click on the reference, click Edit Citation, then click on the name of the author, or the surname or the date, and then click Suppress Author, and then click OK. So here you'll see that Mendeley has hidden the surname of the author and we didn't actually manually edit the reference, which is good. So this means that even if we change the date to 2013 in our desktop app, Mendeley will update this particular reference accordingly. I just want to demonstrate this using another reference.
this is a long way of doing things but when you have a document that is like 300 pages long and you don't want to manually update everything that you've manually edited then it's best to do this long way at the beginning to save yourself time in the long run okay so now I'm going to add a page number to one of my references so let's say that I extracted a direct quotation from one of my references that is on page 7 of the document I can click on the reference click edit click on the name of the author and then insert the page number and then click OK so there you will see that Mendeley has added the page number according to the reference style that I've chosen. I'm also going to do that for this author over here where the author's surname is actually part of the sentence. The process is the same. So there you've got the page number. If you want to insert multiple references for the same sentence, there are two ways of doing this. You can either insert them separately or you can insert them together. I'll do them separately first. Having two brackets next to each other is technically incorrect. So what I'll do is I'll highlight both of these brackets and then I'll click the Merge Citations button. If you are on a Windows computer, you will see that this one button that you have, because you won't have two of these buttons, would have changed to the Merge Citation button. You can now click that button. There is an alternative and faster way to do this. This is just putting all the references in the Mendeley dialog box once it opens. can search for your first reference and then look for your second reference and here you can literally include as many references as you like and then click OK so all of them will then automatically be captured in the same bracket.